Thank you guys for watching. This is the Supreme Ruler 2020 2020 tip series. 2020. 2020. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm playing as uh, Germany and I'm gonna go to war against France. This is just for training purposes, I guess. I do generally want these videos to be more concise, but this first one I want to be a bit longer because I don't really have much to do. I will be perfecting it as I go. I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to do everything, but uh, yeah, I'm playing on Rurg's mod right now. I kind of like it. For one thing especially is it's its missile capacity. So the first thing I'm going to do is, one thing, the first thing I always suggest you do, go here and you freaking buy Von Nix. May cost you a bit of money, or okay, not much, but uh, just buy the damn things. Because you never know if you're going to need them, you know, it's it's not very expensive, 250 mil. Just buy them right outright and you'll be fine, you know. If you ever need them, if you ever need to fall back on them, then do it, you know. I like to use it all the time just for good attacking units, but, uh, you know, I always suggest, you know, get some good tanks, some good artillery to go with it and stuff like that, but, uh... Yeah, so we're gonna go over to the States next. This is where you're gonna get your most high-tech military gear. Um, we, I think we have Leopard 2A6s, so we have some pretty advanced shit. I mean, if we, even if we just had the 2A5s right now, that's... Oh, we have the 2A6. I think that's one of the best tanks that you can get early on in the game, so... Alright, so we're gonna go over here to our aircraft, just make sure that we have something. I always like to buy the F-35s right off the bat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Why not? Um, Here, we need air launch missiles. We're gonna get something that takes nothing. This is just very, very quick to build, so we're gonna see which is better. So this one, the AGM... 14 2D seems to be more advanced, so we're gonna go ahead and go with that one. Alright, and we're gonna send that off. It's gonna cost us a bit of money, but uh, I think we can probably make it work. We can probably make it work. We'll do missile defense too, why not? We like the states, let's, let's, let's do it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so whenever you're uh, going to buy anything or do any trades, always always select maximize offer it's this button right here that looks like it's a little weight measuring thing so always select that so basically what it does is if you go to say buy fresh water so let's say buy two million it'll basically any select financial here basically choose what is the best offer for you not for the other country for you so it'll give you the cheapest amount that you could possibly ever pay for it and that the pos that they could possibly ever accept. So just go ahead and choose that. And uh, always select maximize offer. And see, like, I'm getting a fairly good deal on this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. Wait, I did add the, uh, I did the, add the I did add those missile designs, didn't I? Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh yeah, it's all over here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm kind of... I've been out of it this past week, so we're gonna turn it on to very fast. Which is, of course, very slow. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go over to our missiles. Uh, to our fabrications, and we're just gonna select times 10. Build missile times 10, like, nuts. We're just gonna keep... Pounding away at that button, we're just gonna keep going like crazy. Two years later, as a uh, SpongeBob would say. But anyways, let's keep clicking away. Be very useful to you. And while well, I'm clicking away, and I guess while well, you're probably clicking away, if you have a dual monitor, you're watching on a phone. And I'm just going to check my text messages here. Because that's how boring this game can be sometimes. I'm just kidding. This game is quite awesome. So, uh... I'm thinking we're, we're starting to get a fairly good uh, amount of missiles going here, so... I think once... If I can reach 300 here, like if I can challenge myself to reach 300... 
Because, like, I think I'm getting close. Because if I can challenge myself to reach 300, I think that's the point of that I'm going to stop. You guys can stop whenever the hell you want, but, you know, I want to try to do it as fast as I can. I could probably click quicker if I wanted to, but I'm not really paying attention here that much. Alright, so let's go here. We're nearing 300. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to give that some time to build. Once we reach 300, of course. We're almost there. Alright, so... If you like, you can just double click on your missile or just any unit type and you can select a favorite. Basically that, what that will do is it'll favor, like you can just say to your guys, you know, I want you guys to build this missile. Because I like this missile, this is my favorite missile, I want you to build more of this missile. And they'll be like, okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to increase the production of that missile. You're like, wonderful. Okay, so for your missiles. It's going to go over to your AGMs, you're going to make sure that you do have launch authority on and that you have auto deploy missile group for all of your units, all of your missile units. So you're just going to go ahead and click auto deploy. Or you can just click auto deploy all missile groups, I guess that's a possibility there too. Hey Canada, thank you very- oh that's a nice deal. Thank you for that fresh water. Alright. Who has some gas? Alright, so uh, let's see what units we have. We're gonna deploy over. Yeah, I think for the bombing, the multi rolls, and the uh, fighter bombers tend to hold quite a bit. One thing is, is those uh, B2 spirits. If you go to the US, I think it's. Uh... Yeah, right here, B2 spirits. Those things hold. Uh... How many missiles do they hold? Yeah, they hold 30 missiles, so those things can just bomb the living crap, and they do a shit ton of damage too. If you're not even just if you're not even using the missiles, and you're just using the bombs that they drop, they do a shit ton of damage. Fortunately, South Korea is how the hell is South Korea getting its ass kicked here? Sort of looks like it is, but I think that artillery might help a bit. Yeah, they're starting to beat back. I should just fuck with South Korea and send North Korea a shit ton of really good designs. Here you go, guys. Take this uh, tank design. Uh, Leopard 2A5. They're okay. Send them to you anyways. <laughs> We're just gonna totally fuck with this war. And uh, I'm gonna send you missiles too. And for units, yeah, I'm actually gonna send you a ton of land units. Have fun! I don't really care, just uh, destroy South Korea, I guess. I like South Korea. North Korea is kind of being an asshole to them, but you know. Just, oh yeah, they accepted, wonderful. And they got all those Puma reserve units as well. Alright, so we're, we're just going to fuck with them, because we have to wait for stuff to build anyways. So uh, we're just going to send them a shit ton of crap. Alright, uh, land, land units back here. We're gonna send them like a fuck ton of our infantry. We're gonna see if they can't win this war. Cause this will be interesting. Okay, well I gotta say some infantry for me, so. Alright, we're gonna send them some tanks, the 2 a 6s are nice tanks. i gonna leave myself with uh, 10 tanks, why not? There they go. <laughs> oh, and they just go straight into reserves. I mean, come on, guys. You kind of... Yeah, you kind of need them. By the looks of things. Alright, let's see what we can do for you here. Okay, so you need money. We can give you that. We can give you some money. Alright, we're gonna give you some of that. Oops. Uh, we're gonna give you some of that. Four million. Not too crazy. You probably need some petroleum, so we're gonna give you... We're gonna be stupid and give you like five million petroleum. Why not? 
Uh, more at it, you probably also need military goods. Yes, you do. So we're gonna give you a significant amount of our military goods because we're being fucking stupid. This is not how you should lead a country, but uh, this is apparently what we're gonna do right now. Let's see if our economy can even recover from that. <laughs> Alright, anyways, back to our regular scheduled program. Alright, so over here, we're going to take our aircraft, uh, that's our fabs. Nope, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that we got, this is all deployed. Okay, we're good. So for our air units, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to select yeah, we're going to select all of our air units here. And uh, for the military base that they're going to go into, I want it to be this one here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and toss them here. Oh, they actually all fit in that base. That is uh, wonderful. Okay, so we're going to select all of our units here. And an important part, of course, is to load up your missiles. So, yeah, we have like nearly 3,000 missiles already. So just start selecting the whole entire missile group and, uh... It'll load about as much as I can. There we go. <laughs> Should be able to load them all, but uh, apparently it's not uh, quite loading them fast enough. Or at all, really. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start. Now this is a tactic that I used to like, that I used to, no, that I do like. I mean, it's a, I call it a ping tactic. So first thing, of course, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all my land units here. I gotta beat down the French when they come over. So we're just gonna entrench them over here. Just let them be. And then one thing I'm gonna do, because, uh, because. Actually, maybe I should take on the Czech Republic. That wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe Poland? Yeah, I'm thinking the Czech Republic might be a better idea. Just for the demonstration, because France would put up one hell of a fight. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do Czech Republic. And we're just gonna entrench them all, like, right here. Now, you guys go over here now. Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down. Okay then. So I guess uh, over... Is this an air facility? No, no air facilities right there. So I guess we're going to send them all over here and then they're just going to ping. So let's say I want to take out any enemy units over there. That's not going to be a problem. Alright, so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to declare war on them right now. No, oh, no. Oh, no. What are we ever going to do? Oh, no. They're all too scared. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over here. And, of course, you're going to want to make sure. I guess you're going to enable that if you really wanted to. Why not? We'll load entire missile groups because they kind of have to right now. Alright, we're... Okay, I guess we're gonna ping. So, you're gonna put it uh, just before where the enemy units are. They have some AA, so they may be able to hit us. So we're gonna go ahead and they're gonna air patrol from here. And you watch what happens is it's gonna send you a fuck ton of missiles over. And if you watch closely here, our air units are not being hit. Except for this one, it got a... It got a bit hit, but uh, it's not really a concern here, because they're really getting fucked up right now. So basically, you can take out, you can just ping. This is what this is. You can just ping any, any enemy fortifications, enemy, I guess, swaths of freaking artillery, because God knows China has like a fuck ton of artillery in the capital and all surrounding it. One of the things I did is I took a part of Russia here. I uh, built some uh, 
barracks and then I built some uh, airfields right beside this and I built some air fabs and I, I built some uh, land fabs and then I built some uh, Vonix, some F-35, some B-2 spirits and then I just pinged the Chinese and uh, what happened was I was able to knock out all their units because I was really running a skeleton crew for that mission like I hardly had any land units and my air units were kind of thin I guess so yeah like I had to ping any enemy units otherwise I wouldn't have been able to keep that land at all so basically yeah it was a great defensive tactic and a great offensive tactic that I highly recommend and once these units keep in mind once these units get knocked out these are kind of cheap units that we have right here for missiles so once they get knocked out they're gonna start hitting all over here they're gonna start hitting everything then we can send like our land units and stuff in no problem and the reason why I have them patrolling from the uh, airfield is because maybe that's a little bit too close because yeah you can see that it does have quite a bit more range and the reason why I have it uh, patrolling from the airfield is that it comes back here to supply and it comes back here to get more missiles auto deploy <laughs> so as you can see right now it's just screwing with them so do you want um, I'm gonna take my air units because they are a bit close like I didn't predict them to be like uh, in a good area so I'm just gonna send them back here for now okay so we're going to have them ping here so just like the air patrol again and uh, it'll launch missiles see any enemy units advancing will have to turn around there's literally nothing they can really do so you can do this with any country really um, I recommend if you ever attack the United Kingdom since it's a pain in the fucking ass that you do this you just pain the crap out of the United Kingdom and uh, you're you're good you're golden you're good to go see my units really aren't taking much more damage now at all actually practically they're taking no more damage since I readjusted it uh, maybe a little bit from that one air unit, but it's getting knocked out. <laughs> or three air units, I guess. There's a uh, Bofors, a Gimlet, and a Ganeth. I think the Ganeth is really what's uh, taking the pot shots there. Not too much of a concern, because it'll be gone soon, too. And the SA, too, yeah. <laughs> They think it's going to be possible for them to get over here, but it's really not. Start running, boys. You're not going to be able to get over. I guess both men and women. Start women. Start running men and women, I guess. Okay. Supply truck's gone. The gecko. Once the gecko's gone. And apparently a BMP just came over to uh, both fours. And uh, one thing I do recommend, because these missiles still fire when you have the uh, engaged ground targets off. So you can just turn the engaged ground targets off and the actual like uh, defensive stuff on the aircraft will start attacking the uh, will start attacking the enemy aircraft and the uh, missiles they'll just be doing their secondary thing and they'll just be locking on to enemy targets on the ground and destroying because remember we're not dropping bombs or anything like that we're not shooting with our cannons nothing so this will take out the enemy air at the same time so it'll basically be like death waiting to happen if any enemy aircraft come over so Let's get this fucking gimlet out of the way, like holy shit. I'm wondering how on earth are they deploying so much shit. From here at least. It's like, oh fuck, oh fuck. I shouldn't have come over here. Why did I not call in sick today? <laughs> Uh, 
Gainful is getting knocked down, but the Ganef, unfortunately. Seriously, where the hell are those coming from? <laughs> they probably have more aircraft, I can imagine. They have missile functionality. Actually, no, we don't, surprisingly. Really, only those 16 aircraft. Anyways, back to our uh, units here. So we're going to go over here to our fabrication. I'm going to build us some F-35s. We're going to build two of those. No, I don't want that. Uh, I guess you can continue building those if you really wanted to. Oh yes, yeah, so we didn't buy that strategic bomber. We should soon, but... The Czech Republic is really getting fucked up right now. So we're going to go back here. Uh, the states I guess and we're going to diplomatic offer and yeah, we want that uh, strategic bomber this is expensive like it's exorbitantly expensive actually the b1b Lancer is a lot cheaper and it can hold more missiles so I recommend just going with that and it takes a lot less days to build anyways so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy that since the uh, b1 or the b2 spirit is just really expensive like we're not even gonna bother with it as for our missiles um we can probably build some better missiles now that we can because yeah we're starting to get lower on the agms so we're gonna see what the us has because we can take some more time to look right now oops long area air launch the harpoons are really good I like them. But, uh, thinking. Thinking here. That's 99. 82. 97. 102. So, yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna go with the AGMs. Okay, we're gonna go with the AGMs there. Financial, we're gonna buy that off of you guys. The US, I imagine, is probably really pissed off. France, too. Yeah, France is just not happy with us right now. Not at all. <laughs> the UN provided us with military advisors. Seriously, guys? Seriously, United Nations? We just invaded the Czech Republic for no reason. Except for, I guess, a training mission, if anything. That's absurd. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna go back here to our, uh, fabrication. And of course, I guess we're gonna build some AGMs because, I guess... With the amount we're shooting, I guess we should build some extra. Then we're gonna get some, uh, Jasms or whatever they are. AGMs. Thank you for the petroleum. That was, uh, free and awesome. I greatly thank you for it. Yeah, see, our economy hasn't recovered since we did that. We're gonna build a fucking crap ton of AGM-158 Jasms. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna exclude that. Did they honestly repair it? Anyways. It's really fucking with them. So we can send in our land units here. Right. Under the guise of the obs freaking obs not obscene. Insane, I cannot speak today. Insane missiles. Come on. 
China is going after India. No, India is just like, yeah. I'll send one engineer. Engineer unit- oh, those are light infantry. Light infantry units are crap. Engineer units we do not want on the front lines fighting. But... Actually, yeah, North Korea is doing fairly well right now. But, here's the thing. You do want them for a uh, building, anything. We actually probably have some engineer units, I imagine. Wait, maybe I sold them. I probably sold them. You never know. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna entrench here. Oh yes, another tip. Entrench right in front of any enemy areas. Yes. They were kind of screwed with that one. And then what we're going to do is it's going to wait for supply to reach in here. <laughs> Ba-boom. Oh, it went into reserve too fast. Well, repair I mean. I guess reserve and repair are kind of same-ish things, I guess. In this game, at least. I mean, not in real life. Okay, yeah, we just fucked it up. Hey guys, um, thank you for visiting, but, uh, I did not authorize you guys to, like, come over here and stuff, so. Now to entrench back here. Back to where we need to go. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, you. You should not be there, you should be over here. They must have some really good aircraft there. Anyways, back to our... Ah, oh, fuck off, transports. Like, seriously? Uh, transport. Go. Same for you, Holly. Like, get the fuck out of here. This is like only for multi row fighters. <laughs> Generally, I like using this mostly as like a way to get your units up close. And I mean, really, the uh, land units won't take a whole lot of damage while. Well. The other units are really focused on the missiles and stuff, so... Boom! Watch out, Grail! You're gone! You're gone! Alright, yeah, like I said, it's also good to have artillery there too. So you can launch artillery all the while your missiles are also launching. So we're just gonna let the missiles do their thing because, well, they gotta get our units back here. Okay, fuck off transport, like seriously? Get the hell out of my way. Come on. Stupid transport aircraft. Okay. So, back to where we were. Okay, and now that you're here, you're gonna patrol up to this point, I believe. Yes, I think this point here is gonna be a good patrol route. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we're gonna be able to hit that if we do that. So I'm gonna patrol up to here. If we actually had, like, a airfield that's closer, that would be super nice. Um, as always, I select to uh, maximize profit opportunities where I can. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do that. Um, I don't need any research funding. Like, I really don't care. Because this is only like a temporary thing. So I'm just going to nix that. All I can, I'm going to nix in it. Let's get rid of any research that we have going.
Alright, here is a tip. If you select the button A on your keyboard, it'll bring up this awesome little menu thing. So if you want to, you can see which nations are most likely to declare war against you, and that's China. They have 100% justification by the looks of it. And if you click this, Casey Spelly, it's a little uh, cartoonish bomb. You can see which countries that you have the most justification to declare war against. So, you can declare war against Russia, North Korea, and China if you really wanted to. And then Iran and anyone else, by the looks of it. And then you can also see, you know, who has the most money in their treasury. So usually India just fucking wipes the floor with everybody else eventually. But uh, I think in Rugs, the United States really does a damn good job. They wipe the floor with everybody, so... If you really wanted to, you could just sell a whole bunch of shit to the United States and just make sure that you keep good relations with them and then you'll be able to get as much money out of them as you really wanted to. You can just basically milk them. Um, for population, you can just go hit this population button. So let's say that you don't have enough reserves. You know, you can go ahead and you can take China or India. I mean, neither of them are going to be easy to take, I guess, but... Uh, Especially if you don't have a whole lot of reserves, but I mean, that's a good option. Um, if you're looking for a country that has quite a bit of uh, population in Europe, I guess you can go here. I guess the first one that would be, that would be generally easy would be uh, France, and that's really not super easy, but I mean, it's super close to us and it's easier. Um, Italy's kind of a pain in the ass, so be careful with that. Uh, right. If you want to see country by tech level, let's go over here. And uh, if you want to see how much unit kills there are, let's go over to South Korea. I mean, yeah. South Korea just demolished. And actually, North Korea is not doing too bad. Okay, so for us, if you always just want to see yourself only, we had 108 kills and zero deaths. So yeah, I think we're doing pretty good so far. <laughs> I think it's fairly worthwhile. We're not. We're probably not even on that chart. Only two thousand. All right. So let's see here. And yeah, everything else. You know, I really don't worry about too much military score. I guess. Um. We're just gonna run ourselves like into debt. I guess right now because that's what we're doing. Um. Decrease social spending. I guess. Woo. All I need is like a tiny ass adjustment. What the hell was that? Why were we in such debt then? Okay, whatever. I guess so. <laughs> I guess there's like one thing or something that really... Ooh, back here. So we're gonna go over to here to our military maintenance and training. So that's gonna go up our DEF CON level. We're gonna have to rise that. So we just rose two of those. Um, increase unit readiness, I guess, if we really wanted to. We can do that, yes. Increase efficiency. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead. It's very efficient now. Yeah, um, we're not able to launch missiles from that point, so we're going to have to send you guys back. Yeah, you guys need to fuck off, like, seriously. These guys are still flying, which is absolutely incredible. They're still flying. And I guess these guys over here, yeah, all the air over here, you guys have got to get out of your way. Got to get out of my way, I mean, you got to go over here. It's all these transport units bug right the fuck off. Same with you, bunny. Okay, and, uh... I think that's all, really. Yes, all of our units are here. Seriously, another transport unit. Wish I could just get rid of them right now, but I'm not gonna bother. Not worth the effort. You're not worth the effort, you little transport shithead. Units. Stuffs. Alright. So we're gonna air patrol up to here. That should definitely do it. Okay, so apparently they're not for some reason. They should be. Like, we should have a fuck ton of missiles. Okay, so yeah, apparently we outdid our entire missiles. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna 
I have to focus on building some more state operations, defense, fabrication. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna click this button like nuts. Disagree. Like, is there like a reason why we're not like producing any really? It's taking a long time, really. All right, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use cheats just for this video. Cheat. Allow cheats. And uh, my mic is right in front of me, so sorry if I accidentally hit it. So I could use some extra cash. <laughs> Cheat. Break. Ground. Cheat. She loves me. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to produce a fuck ton of shit. So build. Industrial. We're gonna start with industrial goods first. I don't need a whole lot of that. You need a lot of electric power because that really screws with you, but it's gonna go over to here to our hydro. I guess uh, electric power should not be much of a concern at this point. Yes, this will cost us a crap ton of money, but like I said, I'm George Wing it. George Wing it. Bush, I'm bushing it. Pushing it to the limits. I wonder if I can do a uranium mine here. I don't know. I never checked before, I don't think. Uranium mines, I probably don't have. Well, actually, I do, surprisingly. So, build a fuck ton of uranium mines. <laughs> probably good for the economy. Okay, then. So, I have a lot of uranium mines. Consumer goods, I have quite a bit of. Industrial goods, I'm gonna need. Goods. Not industrial, I mean military. Military goods, so you're gonna build a lot of that. Actually, it's probably better to build it on like towns and cities and stuff like that. Just so you know, people don't have to travel for jobs everywhere. Yeah, there should be like more than enough military goods, I figure. Like, if it isn't, I'm gonna be thoroughly surprised. Alright, uh, metal ore. You're gonna, of course, need a lot of metal ore because, like I said, you gotta build a lot of crap, so. We're gonna do composite ore since it doesn't really require a whole lot of mining, I guess. At least I don't think it does. At least it doesn't matter where you put it, so. Poor refining. Petroleum, we're not good in at all. Build industrial petroleum. Where the hell is that again? Oh yeah, oil, gas sealed and oil derricks. I'm gonna start with the oil derricks. Yeah, I really don't have any, I don't think. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's the Netherlands. In the United Kingdom. Why is it showing that up for me then? Build industrial. Oops. Oil gas fields. So we're just gonna oil gas fields just shit out of this place. Cause I mean, we really don't have many places. May as well just put that in right off the bat. Right off the bat. The bat breweries. Actually, I never really. I'm not even a fan of beer. You know, I don't really drink beer. I'm more of a whiskey man. Myself, some whiskey, some scotch, that kind of thing. Um, timber, fresh water, 
Probably need a bit of fresh water, whatever, that's gonna be fine. We can just buy it off of the market. So we're gonna see like how screwed we kind of are right now because that's taking 21 days or so. Ooh, Nelly. Cheat, George W. Cheat, George W. Cheat, George W. So yeah. <laughs> Increased treasury. Generally, don't want to select that, but whatever. No longer receive any of these topics. We're in massive debt at the moment. Which I'm quite okay with, actually. Our revenue is just in the tank. Like, holy shit. That's quite alright. See, you should never go overkill on your production and stuff like that. Yeah, I think, I think we're still even building some stuff right now. Yeah, I think we might be or something like that because, oh yeah, we are definitely. It's because it's killing us in industrial goods right now. Just murdering us at the moment. <laughs> That'll all come to pass. Control. Cheat. George W. Of course. Can't see. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pause that for a second. I just figured since I'm not really bothering to play, I'm gonna just turn off all my land units. Production off. Off. I'm gonna I can turn off everything except for air. Okay, we're gonna decrease the DEFCON too to elevated. And decrease the maintenance and training because we don't really need to worry too much about that. But you deal with our budget deficit, oh no. Turn off initiative for everything else. We're gonna send all of our naval units into reserve. If they're not already. <laughs> yeah, highlight everything here. So really, we only have the land units deployed in the naval here. Yeah, like, there's no possible way that we could do that. Because, yeah, if you decrease it, it really fucks you up, too. So, we're going to keep the social spending and stuff up. Taxes have got to go down. This is a little trick I have. But I usually don't bother too much. You can check here what your expenses are. So, construction, yeah. Like I said, construction is the most expensive at the moment. And it's down. You know, we don't have to worry too much about construction, so we're good. And increase our tax rate a little bit. See? We are golden right now. We are golden. Our construction has just uh, dealt itself or whatever. Just dealt with everything that's wrong. Industrial goods. We do need to build a couple industrial goods facilities, but we probably don't, but we might. So we should. I guess. If that's even a reason. Probably don't, but we might so we should. Yeah, so petroleum's just, uh, we're kinda in the tank for that. I mean, there's not a whole lot that we can do unless we can somehow persuade Saudi Arabia just to be, like, buddy-buddy with us. I don't think we could even get really a, uh, free trade agreement if we wanted to. Actually, we probably could. We are going to do that because that's probably a good idea. We could really use the free trade agreement. There you go, now you're launching some more missiles. Whew. 
Yeah, it's still taking 20 days, so like, uh, no reason. This should be two days. Like, why is it, uh, whatever. Whatever. That's kind of ridiculous. It should be just two days. That's all. I can exclude the production of any other missiles. I'm just knocking all land launch missiles. Oh yeah, we're just destroying and trade at the moment. Except for patrolling and consumer goods. Fortunately not doing well with that, but that's uh, okay I guess. Anyways, back to where we were. Yes, yeah, so we disabled the other missile designs. It's not helping a whole lot, unfortunately. I don't know if we can even really do anything. It's just two days, like it says two, four days. So, so I'm not going to worry about it. Move our units in. This AT3 cannot do anything against us. There isn't a threat. Let's disable this because I don't need to know. It'll tell me if there's something wrong. Actually, I kind of like to see that. For this, it just kind of... Oh! South Korea is gone. Bye-bye, South Korea. Apparently, North Korea is uh, surprisingly going after Japan right now. This is uh, an impressive uh, thing I haven't really seen much of. A little bit of a naval battle going on between them, so... I guess I'm gonna give you some uh, subs leave some like half decent stuff no I just want the designs I want to give you the designs nothing else really 104, 106 106 I'm going to give you some frigates and I guess some patrol boats I guess we'll give them this, uh, either the Albatross or the, uh, Victory. I guess we'll give them the Albatross. B1, B Lancer, they have the fighter bombers, right? I think the ECR, yeah, that's one, that one's a bit better. <laughs> Save for ADV tornadoes. And, uh, missile designs, we're just gonna give you whatever we got. You know, I can go ahead and I can give you a lot of my, uh, boats. I should probably do that, actually. Because <laughs> I, like I said, I don't need them. I'm never gonna use them. So just gonna give you guys all of our boats. <laughs> and if we have any naval missiles, then I'll give it to you guys as well. Because, uh, God knows you don't need those either. That's just a phrase. Don't get so upset about it. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I don't know why you would. Japan is just trying to get over to... They're launching a crap ton of missiles right now. I think what's trying to happen is that they're trying to get their units over. But just, you know, isn't working out well for them. They built two A5s already. Oh no, I think I sent them the design to that, that's all. Disagree. North Korea is apparently fairly powerful now. Thanks to us. And they're going after Japan. <laughs> Japan is just like, eh, send a couple guys over there. That'll be that. 
Alright, to uh, what we are doing here. Let's go down here, select the trench. Trench here. Because I gotta knock this out first, of course. And <laughs> they start sending us units the second we don't have any. Thanks, bro. But uh, we don't really need it right now. So, uh. So we're not gonna move up just yet. We gotta wait for our supply to get there. Turn off uh, land attacks. Well, you can turn it on because it was already off. So, uh, all right. So we're gonna go back here. Entrench now. Thank you uh, for the Exocet missiles. The Exocet missiles. Trench over here, hopefully that'll gain us a small village. Then we're gonna entrench back over here. Just because hopefully this will gain us this little chunk of land right here. So you don't really have to worry about... There we go! Now we'll have supply to go out there. Yeah, buddy, that was not a good idea. You're probably in repair right now. Or just, I have no idea where you are, but you're... You're definitely in repair, so... <laughs> when supply gets up there, I think we're generally going to be good. Also, another tip, if you increase the infrastructure spending, your supply improves. So... Good. Right, so I figure we have fairly good supply into here now. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to select a, uh, not looking for that, uh, let's see, we gotta have some infantry. Okay, transport engineer. Okay, yeah, whatever, you're gonna take that since we can get better supply out of this area if we do this. So I figured we'd do that, we gotta have better supply. And you can go back to wherever you are. Oh yeah, another tip, you just hit construction on any building that you want to build quicker. And uh, they'll build quicker. And the more uh, engineers you have constructing, the better. Okay, so... With regards to our... Uh, Artillery units. I think we can select a filter by. Uh, I think it's classes. Nope. Nope. Types. Nope. Types. Nope. No, well, anyways, it should be filtering, but it's uh, apparently not. Anyways, we are bombarding the capital, anyways. <laughs> we are now going to move forward, I guess. Oh yeah, of course, after we get this area back. because we need the supply for it. Stop launching missiles over there. 
You do not need to. Focus on the capital, seriously. So basically another no-brainer way to knock the crap out of any enemies. Then once you're there you can just uh, send your units to bomb if you want to. It's up to you what you want to do. Nice. Apparently we still have a few on patrol. That's nice. Okay, so we have the uh, country. Of the Czech Republic. We took their capital. Watch this. We have like no naval units right now. I wonder if they even have any naval units. Probably not. But it'd be interesting to see if they did. 39 and 24 for our aircraft. I mean, if you guys uh, left, you wouldn't be bombarded, I guess, quite so crazily. This village might have thousands of people dying as a result. You know, got a nice bump, not bad. I like uh, the extra AA, AA units, it, uh, it helps out with some defense, I guess, and maybe if you want to attack, you can include them too, so you can defend against air units, but... Uh, Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, fuck, I made a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know how that happened because usually what happens when you cheat and you create way more than, uh, you create way more production than demand, you just go right into the crapper. But I think it's because I selected, uh, I think it's because I selected increased treasury and, uh, we have some stupid trade. Thing going on right now we also yeah our trade is somehow going like crazy well I don't know how but uh, turn it off we can maximize profit opportunities just keep that selected you basically you're golden you know you know what I mean you're golden anyways thank you very much for watching guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that uh, the little tips that I exposed here will help you out Generally, I want the next videos, like the actual series, to be two to three minutes long, tops. Maybe five, just depends. But, uh, you know, today I just wanted to take a little bit longer to kind of do this and for it to be like a good kind of like introductory video. I am using Fraps to record. I am using Audacity for the audio recording. Um, my microphone is a Blue Snowball. I think it might be the Yeti. Actually, no, I don't think it's the Yeti. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's a blue snowball. I'm going to be using just a couple of editing tricks, I guess, in Audacity. I'll show you guys them. But, uh, yeah, I consider it, uh, very helpful. Sorry about that, I have gas. I have Nate yet today. So anyways, yeah, I consider it very helpful with just general just improving your voice and the clarity of your voice and stuff like that because you know I have like a very soft or center pan voice and I don't usually speak too loud so it doesn't really translate very well to video and you know I have trouble pronouncing and enunciating my words as you guys know usually I'm not too bad but uh, I guess I am not very well today not doing very well with that today so yeah, I'm thinking the next video is probably going to be a economics video, I'm guessing. I mean, I am shit at economics, but, uh, I mean, if you if you do the increased treasury thing, you'll make a lot of money really quickly. But the downside to that is, is that you'll destroy your credit rating. You'll just absolutely demolish it. So, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.